I'm Alex Michelson on this Thanksgiving week. The issue is gratitude. Ryan Braun, Mike Moustakis are here, two of baseball's best, talking about California Strong, the charity they've created that has raised millions for people around our state. And our own Amanda Salas is back to talk about fighting cancer, how it changed your perspective on life. A special edition of The Issue Is starts right now. And thank you so much for joining us and welcome to a special edition of The Issue Is. We're taking a break from some of the normal politics stuff to talk about what really matters, the issue of gratitude. And joining us here are two of the co-founders of one of my favorite charities, California Strong. We're talking about Ryan Braun and Mike Moustakis. Ryan, of course, the former National League MVP, an outfielder for the Milwaukee Brewers. He grew up here in Southern California. He was a star for Granada Hills High School. There's some old video of him back in the day. Look at that swing. <laughs> oh, wow. That's an all-star <laughs> swing there. Mike Moustakis, he's also a three-time all-star he attended Chatsworth High School yeah. here in uh, the Valley. Last year, Braun and Moustakis joined fellow athletes, including Christian Yelich and Jared Goff, to form California Strong. They've hosted several events, including a, a big celebrity softball game uh, that raised over $2 million to help Californians impacted by disasters like the Woolsey Fire and the Borderline Shooting. Gentlemen, thanks for all that you have done for our community, and welcome to The Issue Is. Thanks so much for having us. Yeah, thank you. All right, and let's talk first about the issue of gratitude on this Thanksgiving week. What does gratitude mean to you? Um, to me, gratitude is just about being thankful and, and grateful for all the blessings that we have in our lives. For you? Uh, pretty much the exact same. You know, we're, uh, we're very fortunate and, you know, uh, to be where we're at and all the gratitude that we're able to give out as well. Um, and let's talk about California Strong. You're wearing the hat. You're on brand today. Congratulations Thank on you. that. <laughs> one, one thing I was able to do. So, so, uh, <laughs> so last year, um, we're, we're just at the one-year anniversary mark of the, the borderline shooting, the Woolsey fire. You guys uh, live out in, in that area. What was going through your mind when you saw all of that happening? Yeah, it was a uh, really traumatizing time, I think, for, for everybody who either lived in that area or had had friends or family who do live in the area. Um, the conversation about California Strong actually started because each of us were um, evacuated from our houses. We were trying to check on each other, make sure everybody was okay, um, and then eventually find out whether our houses had survived or not. Uh, and once we figured out that each of us was okay, our families were okay, and that structurally at least our houses um, were there, the conversation pretty quickly turned to what we could do to help and how we could use um, our platform to give back and ultimately help people who are in a time of need. And so you, you guys work out at this gym called Proactive Sports out in that area, right down the street from the borderline where a lot of this happened. We were out there with you working out last year wearing the California Strong shirts with you and Christian Yelich, and, and you ended up organizing a bunch of events, uh, one of which was a, a dinner for people people in the community, and then there was this softball game um, that was uh, so many different celebrities uh, came to be a part of this. Uh, we're talking people like Adam Sandler and Jamie Foxx and uh, stars from sports, Baker Mayfield was out there, all a part of, of what was going on. It was just so, so unbelievable how everybody came together and was focused on a single goal of raising money to give to these families. And you guys uh, have raised more than what? A million dollars, more than oh, two million dollars, something yeah, I like think that. Currently, we're a little over two and a half million dollars that yeah. we've raised to this point, which is incredible. And and I think the the most moving experience of all of this, I was I got to be with you guys when you were handing out checks, right? This happened at the YMCA um, out in the Westlake Village area. These were people that were impacted by this. Here's a group hug um, of you guys um, and, and some of the folks that that were able to be beneficiaries of the work that you've done. Uh, we spoke to some of the folks those days, and and here's. What what one of the, the women had to say. I'm proud of them. I'm inspired by them and I respect them. When you hear that, when you see that, tears in her eyes, grateful for the help, what does that make you think? Um, you know, there were, there were tears in our, our eyes as well. I think it was incredibly emotional for all of us. Um, you know, a lot of people get involved in charities or philanthropy, but you rarely have the opportunity to meet the people whose lives you're positively impacting. Um, and to see the impact that, that we were able to make on some of their lives and to hear their stories um, and to see how emotional they were was, was an incredibly emotional experience for all of us. Um, you guys are not only baseball players and philanthropists, but you're also fathers, right? And both of you have babies on the way. Congratulations on that. Thank you. How okay. has that, how has fatherhood on this week of Thanksgiving, which is all about family, sort of changed your perception on 
your responsibilities, on your values, and, and on gratitude. Yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, your, your perspective on life changes in every imaginable way when you have children. I think people tell you that, but living it and experiencing it um, on a day-to-day -day basis is something that gives you a level of, of appreciation for um, just for life and for all of the little moments that nothing else ever could. And, and Mike, uh, I know you're grateful for your wife, right? Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, to, to have a family and to, to share these, uh, you know, Thanksgiving and, you know, holidays. It, it means everything to us. I mean, how has, you know, you're a big, strong guy. Your, your arms look bigger than my head. Um, <laughs> how, has, uh, how has being a father, has it made you more of a softie? Has oh, absolutely. It, has it, what always, are you like with your kids? I was always a softie, but, yeah. um, you know, I have a little girl. She's three now, and, you know, every time I see her, she just melts my heart. And um, my little man, he's uh, almost two, and it's just awesome to be able to come home, and they run up to you, no matter how good or bad your day is at, at work, they come up to you, and they make everything better. So it's... It's just coming home to that and makes, makes everything great. Um, after the holidays, we want to encourage everybody to come to the next big California Strong event. It's a softball game. It's Sunday, January 12th. So save that date. Be prepared to come to Pepperdine and come join in the, the game. They just invited me to play in the game, which, which I'm excited about. Um, I'm a, an Agora High School uh, basketball player who barely can play rec you know, on the weekends now. You guys uh, have done much better as players from the Valley uh, and are, are making us proud. So we want to talk a little sports while we've got these two great athletes with us as well. So as we go to break and play a little California-inspired music, uh, up next we're going to talk to them about next season on the field and play some of our games with them. We're talking about the name game and personal issues. More with Ryan Braun, Mike Moustakis, the California Strong Story. We come back. Welcome back to a special edition of The Issue Is. This is Thanksgiving week, so the big issue this week is gratitude. And back with us, two of the co-founders of California Strong, one of my favorite charities that helps so many people in our great state, Ryan Braun and Mike Moustakis, both with us. Both played on the Brewers last year. Uh, we got to talk a little baseball while they're here. I, and I really would love to talk politics, too, but I don't think they're going to tell me Pete Buttigieg or Joe Biden. <laughs> so we'll start with, uh, with Mike. You're a free agent. Free agent. Last year when we talked at this time, you were also a free agent. Correct. You ended up back on the Brewers. Right. Where do we think we're going to be this year? Uh, there's no telling. I mean, uh, free agency is still early right now, but uh, we had a great time last year. Um, you know, Ryan always says, uh, when you get to play with your friends, uh, play baseball with your friends, it, it's more meaningful. And, you know, to have me and him and Yelly on the same team, it was, uh, it was awesome. And, of course, Yelly is Christian Yelich, who may have been the MVP last year, had this injury towards the end of the season, which was pretty devastating for your team, the Brewers. Correct. Um, he's doing better, right, rehabbing, where, unfortunately, he's, not, he's out of town, couldn't be a part of this interview today. Where do you see things uh, for, the, for the Brewers next year? Um, I think we'll be competitive, which is kind of all that you could hope or ask for of a you know, smaller mid-market team. So um, the pieces are there for us to, to go and do what we've done the last two years, which is get to the postseason. Um, and as we saw this year, we lost a tough wild card game to the Nationals who went on to win the World Series. So uh, you hope to be on a competitive team that has a chance to get back to the postseason. All right, so you say smaller mid-market team. You both are from L.A. Uh, Christian Yelich is, is from L.A. Even the Brewers co-owner is from L.A. Why can't we get you on the Dodgers? I mean, <laughs> why not? We need to come join. You're the missing piece. No, you guys got some players over there, man. You got a, you got a bunch of good guys yeah, over there. It's that, a great that, team. That's, that's what I'm rooting for. I would say Mike, we'll, Mike would we'll make see. every team better. Yeah, yeah. Including the Dodgers. Nice. He's yeah. that good. He is. He really Thank is. You. Okay, so we're going to do something. Let's have a little bit of fun. This is called the name game. Uh, this is where, that's right, we get to play a little Beyonce, which I know is your favorite, Ryan. <laughs> At the uh, top of my list. And this is uh, where we put some, uh, some names of well-known people, and we get your take uh, in one word what comes to mind, okay? Cool. So here we go. First one, somebody you guys know well, Christian Yelich. Uh, brother. It's our brother. Family. Okay. Cody Bellinger. Um, MVP. MVP. Clayton Kershaw. Nasty. I would say competitor. You know, I think one of his best attributes, he's, uh, he's an incredible competitor. Mike Trout. Goat. Goat. He is, to this point in his career, yeah. he's, he's short list of greatest players of all time. Absolutely. Greatest player of all time. How about that? Bryce Harper. Um, tenacity. Yeah. You know, just like plays the game with a crazy amount of passion and aggression and tenacity. Mike Moustakis. Ooh. Teammate. One of, the, one of the greatest teammates I've ever had and that anybody could ever hope to have. And finally, Ryan Braun. Uh, brother, again, uh, big brother. I, I look up to this guy since I was a kid, so being able to play with him has been awesome. 
Pretty cool. Does that make Thanks, you feel man. old? Thanks, man. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reminded of how old well, I am in baseball terms all the time. Yeah, I know. I, well, uh, I'm in between you guys, so we're all, we're all very similar. To, all right, let, let's do one more game. It's called Personal Issues. Uh, this is where we put 30 seconds on the clock, Ooh. rapid fire, uh, and we're going to ask you some, some questions to get to know you a little bit better. Um, so try to be quick. And if you don't know, just pass, right? Because right. we've we're got the clock going. So here we go. Favorite athlete of all time? Uh, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Um, let's go to favorite rapper of all time. Tupac. Yeah, I'd say Tupac as well. West Fa Coast. Favorite meal? Chicken tacos. <laughs> uh, probably sushi. Uh, favorite Disney movie? Uh, Little Mermaid. We're on Moana right now. <laughs> My daughter loves it. Favorite sports team other than your own team? Grew up a Dodger fan. Lakers. All right. Uh, and favorite way to relax? Golf. Hang yeah, hang out at the house or beach. All right, well, and spend time with your families, which is what Thanksgiving is all about. Thank you guys for all that you do, really. Thank you thank for, you. for yeah. all that you've raised and, and brought a lot of joy and a lot of hope and a lot of help to a thank lot you. of people in our state, and we really need it, and we're, we're proud of you. Awesome, So thank way you. to go, California Strong. Support them, go to their website, check them out. Ryan Braun, Mike Moustakis, our thanks to Christian Yelich, Jared Goff, and all the guys who've been involved, part of this as well. And as we go to break, in honor of these guys who like the Dodgers and the Lakers, Play a little California love for the California strong yeah, guys, right? I like it. All right, thanks, guys, awesome. and good luck with the uh, with the Thank upcoming you so event. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. And this is where you can show off your dance moves too. No, I got yeah. <laughs> none of those. Lucky we're in a chair and we don't have to. Yeah, uh, we're gonna lose viewers. More of the issue is, including Amanda Salas. When we come back. I made a promise to God when I was laying in the hospital bed: if you give me a second chance at life, I promise that I will pay it forward. I will help somebody else who's going through this. Fox 11 Los Angeles entertainment reporter Amanda Salas has been very open about her battle with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Her latest update is the best one yet. She's now in remission from cancer. Our girl has always known how to make an entrance, so please welcome back our senorita, our Latina, back on the scene, Amanda Salas. Welcome back. So excited to have you here. What are you gonna turn the show into the tissue in? Get me all choked up before I go on. <laughs> how's it? This is your first time back on on this set in in months. First time how's it? How's set. it feel? It feels like home. Yeah. Yeah. This is you, as you know, you're here a lot. This is our <laughs> this is our home away from home, and this is our family, and it feels like home. Okay. So the the title of this show, the issue is gratitude. Mm -hmm. What does gratitude mean to you? Well, for me. More than anything this year, gratitude means to simply be alive. Mm. Simply be alive. I'm telling you, Alex, when there's a sunset or a sunrise, I actually take a second to actually soak it in now. Mm. The wind on your skin, you know, your dog giving you kisses, every little thing before that you would take it for granted, mm -hmm. you appreciate. So let, let's talk a little bit about your journey. So yes. several months back, um, you felt like you were a little swollen, right? A lot and, of swollen, and you yeah. Went, and you went into the, the doctor, yeah. and then they tell you those three words. You have cancer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you need to start chemo right away because the reason why I was swollen was because the tumor was compressing my veins and I wasn't getting blood flow. Mm. So to hear somebody say that at any moment your life could have been taken from you, had I not been proactive to find out what was wrong, it's just, it's crazy. To hear that. And then you, you literally didn't get to leave the hospital. You went no. straight into it. I called our executive producer for the evening news and I said, I'm going to be a little late. They were able to squeeze me into the doctor. And I didn't know that I actually wouldn't be coming into work that day or for the next five, six months. And then this army takes over, right? At first, um, once you, you went public, made the decision to go public yes. with this and to tell your story. Yes. And then you start getting all the support from all around the world. Yeah. Uh, it started with our viewers. And then we did that buzz party and, and the video and the piece on Fox. And it has over 5 million views. And I'm getting messages from, like you said, all over the world of people saying, thank you. You've helped me get through my chemo. Or because of your story, I'm now going to the doctor to check on something. And that's just, I mean, there's no better compliment to receive than you are helping me get through my cancer journey. Mm. That's my favorite compliment I've ever gotten. 
And, and both of us have been involved with the Leukemia Lymphoma Society. God bless I, I, them. I reached out to them because I'd done a lot of work with them and said I want them to help you, and they've been you very did. helpful to you. You sent an email right um, away. And, and the Leukemia Lymphoma Society recently had this event called Light the Night, mm -hmm. um, where you were the featured speaker. I was honored to be the MC. Yeah. And we saw thousands of people out there thousands. all cheering you on in, in this process. And, and, and coming together in unity, and you literally light the night. So yeah. you hold up a, a lantern yes. that says, I'm a survivor. Yes. What did that moment feel like to you? It was so great having our coworkers, my family, friends there, raising awareness, raising money. We raised over $40,000 for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And for Giving Tuesday, people should still give back to them. So how has this changed your worldview? Because you're an entertainment reporter. You deal in a, a world with a lot of vain, selfish people. Oh, yeah. Not, not, and a lot of great people, too. Sure. It's an industry town. But, yeah. the, but a lot of the emphasis is on that. Sometimes it's a lot of cynicism in the entertainment industry. How has this changed the way you, you view life, period? It's never easy dealing with cancer. It's not easy dealing with cancer in our industry. You scroll your feed, and it's a lot of beautiful people after beautiful people. But it made me realize that who I am is not what I do or what I look like. And I'm really, not to brag, I'm proud that I have realized that I'm more than all the exterior. Yeah. Yeah. And, and your family has also been there every step of the way. And on this Thanksgiving week, what, talk about your mom, your grandmother, your dad, and what their They're my impact rocks. has been. They're my rocks. I love my, I've always cherished my family. But this brought us closer more than I can describe. You know, having my mom basically move in with me, having my grandma attend lab appointments with me, having my dad be my life coach, telling me that cancer doesn't stand a chance against you, cheering me on for months, that can't be bought. And mm -hmm. that was priceless and invaluable. And I love them so much. And I know they're watching. And I love you guys forever and ever. All right. Um, as we go to break, you know we love to play music. Shut. So this is your pick. Yes. This is Lan Manuel Miranda, that's right? right? That's, Puerto Rican. That's right. Uh, my yeah, Puerto Rican Hamilton. Pride. What does this song mean to you? My shot. Cancer or no cancer, I am not throwing away my life. Yes, and we are not throwing away our shot while we have you yes. to play some personal issues and also the name game Entertainment Edition. That's right. So we might also see a little dancing from Amanda. A little as well. Lin Manuel Amanda right now. <laughs> <laughs> More with Amanda Salas when we come back. Don't make me take off this beret and swing yeah. it around. Mary Tyler Moore, baby. <laughs> yeah, Here well, we go. You just wait for it. <laughs> we are yeah. back with Amanda Salas, our entertainment reporter here at Fox 11, and our cancer survivor. Yes! And you took this song, Imagine Dragons. I did. I played this the morning of chemo session number five because whatever it takes, you just have to get through it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you have. And we're Thank proud you. of that. And now we get to have a little bit of fun. You know, on, on this show, this is the first time you've been a guest on this show. We like to play games. This okay. is called the name game. Got it. This is where I say names of, of different people, and then you get to weigh in on their perspective. Okay. Uh, on, on, on one word that comes. So first one, Lynn manuel Miranda. PR superstar. It's Puerto Rico. That's Puerto Rican, yeah. You. Jennifer Lopez. Oh, Bronx. Uh, Tina Fey. Latina Fey. <laughs> I think of Billy Eichner's, Billy Eichner's skit with that. Uh, Tom Hanks. <gasps> last interview before my medical leave was Tom Hanks. So wow. last interview. Wow. Mm -hmm. Rachel Brosnahan. <gasps> Marvelous. <laughs> of course, the star Very of the cliche. Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Yes. And finally, Mr. T. Oh, survivor. Mr. Yeah. T had T cell lymphoma. Mm -hmm. And I had the lymphoma with media in the title. So I mean, you know, if the shoe fits. And so, and the firefighters in LA did a big fundraiser oh for you, and Mr. T yes. showed up. Yes. And you were very emotional with Mr. T. Yes, I was. Not just because I loved him in the A team, but <laughs> <laughs> shout out to LA FD Station 88 in Sherman Oaks. They held a, a wonderful pancake fundraiser for us, and Mr. T was a special guest. And when I saw him, I did get choked up because Mr. T is a survivor, and I saw him as a beacon of light of a future that I want to say I'm a survivor too. Yes, he pities no fools. He pities no fools. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's right. One more game for you. Okay. Uh, this is going to be personal issues. 30 seconds up oh. on the clock. We learn some of your favorites, okay? Get okay. to know you a little better. Favorite movie? <gasps> a Bronx Tale. Favorite candy? Sour Patch Kids. Favorite type of wine? Anything red, honey, like my blood. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite Thanksgiving meal? My mom. Yeah. Stuffing, peas, turkey, classic. Favorite TV show? The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Favorite actor or actress? <gasps> oh, 
Okay, hey, picking favorites, but uh, I'm gonna say Matthew McConaughey because he makes me feel everything's gonna be all right, all right, all right. Favorite kind of car? <gasps> Oh, so sorry we're out of time. Guess I can't <laughs> pick a favorite. Last one, favorite musical. I'm not going to say Hamilton because that's so cliche. I'm going to say Spring Awakening. All right. Because I'm having my own blossoming Spring Awakening right now. Well, you know what else you're doing? You're showing us that the best is yet to come. I am. And uh, so we're going to end with maybe my favorite artist of all time, Frank Sinatra. Classic. Will you, will you dance with yes, me? Yes, honey, we will have a political party. Time for life of the party. <laughs> Let's go. Come all right, I'll spin to that. I'm so proud of you. Thank we you. all are so proud of you. You're We're so excited to see you back. Well, we love you, Amanda. Oh, let's go have a glass oh, of wine. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I love it. Yes. Never dipped on TV before. <laughs>